for learning more about the lies New York Congressman George Santos told as a younger man about his family's wealth and his business success. His former roommate, Gregory Maury Parker, joins us now. Uh, and in full transparency, a little technical difficulty there. And so we're glad you're here and that you're able to hear us loud and clear. You good? Yes, I am. Good morning, Don. Good Thank morning, you. Bobby. Good morning. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Listen, you knew Santos for a number of years, starting in 2013. How did you end up living in the same house? So my lease in Astoria was up um, in Queens, and he was like, oh, well, you know, the New York rental market is ridiculous. Come stay with me for, you know, a month or two while we get everything, you know, sorted out and try to find you a place. And I was like, oh, OK. Um, so I took him up on it, moved in. Um, it was uh, definitely an interesting interesting few months. <laughs> well, explain that to us. What was he like back then? Why do you say it was interesting? Well, he, um, I suppose the, the biggest thing that I took away from it was like just delusions of grandeur. Like he, he would just go to bars with, you know, like rolls of hundred dollar bills. And, you know, three days later he would have no money or, you know, he would constantly be saying, oh, well, you know, I, I'm going to sell my phone. I'm going to sell my phone. Do you know anybody who wants to buy it? And, you know, I'm like, well, why are you selling it? And he's like, oh, well, don't worry about it. And it's just things just started continuously spiraling and getting like kind of ridiculously crazy. Um, you know, his mother was um, a housekeeper in, in Manhattan and it just didn't seem feasible for him supposedly to, to come from all this uh, generational wealth, if you will. And what it, why is why are you doing the things that you're doing? It it's, it doesn't make sense to me. Well, well um, he was he had made allegations that he came from generational wealth, and you're saying that his mother was a housekeeper in the city in in Manhattan. Yeah. Um, so people are going to wonder, and also you know he he you knew him at through another name, right? The last name Devolder. Yes, I've 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 always known him as Anthony Devolder. I've yeah. never known him as George Santos. Um, I was actually quite surprised. I guess he, you know, went by his middle name and his mother's name. Um, but yeah, no, I've, I've always known him as, as Anthony DeVolder. Mm -hmm. So listen, you know, people, Greg, are going to wonder why you're coming out. They're going to say, well, that's his side of the story. And, and do need to tell our viewers that we did reach out to George Santos's representatives, his lawyers, and we haven't heard back from them. Although we have been trying since the story started to get an interview with him. He has declined. His representatives have, have declined. Uh, and even his office uh, in Washington. You say something wasn't adding up between the way that Santos talked about himself and the life that he led, right? His name, Anthony DeVolder, yeah. as you knew him, his uh, wealth and what have you. What else doesn't add up? What else? Well, just, I, I kind of assumed that he had made up, you know, about going to Baruch and NYU. Um, but then I thought, well, maybe I was wrong, you know, after the election. Um, because I'm sure the DCCC, you know, and the RNC would have you know, investigated him, and at least his opponent would have done some op research. Um, so I kind of thought, well, maybe I'm wrong, you know. Um, maybe this is just, you know, the truth, and I was incorrect. But, I mean, obviously, the you know, the truth has finally come out. Um, and I just, I, I don't understand. Did he go, like, one by one to everybody in his district and just literally pull the wool over their eyes. <laughs> yeah. Like how, it's just flabbergasting. I'm wondering if this was the end of, I guess it was a rocky relationship and it started off well. And because you, this is again, according to you, you believe that he stole a, stole a Burberry scarf from you and wore it when he gave a speech in DC on January of, of 2021. Uh, this is January 5th, 2021 one day before the Capitol attack. Now, CNN has not independently verified this claim. In the speech, Santos falsely claimed that the 2020 congressional election was stolen from him. Now, you say this is not, you know, it's more than just a stolen scarf. This is bigger than that. Did he take other things? And why are you saying this is bigger than just a scarf? Well, it just bothers me. I mean, um, he is one of the, the you know, 
highest elected officials in the country. You know, he is responsible for, for you know, making the laws. And yes, I mean, I, I do miss my, my stone check Burberry scarf. Um, but at the same time, it's why I feel like they're not focusing enough on the issues at hand. You know, where, where did all this money come from to finance the campaign? You know, why <laughs> the whole thing is just, it, it's quite bewildering to me. I mean, how he even got elected. Well, um, we, we appreciate you joining us uh, this morning. Gregory Morey Parker, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.